AirTags are finally here, and unsurprisingly, Apple found a way to use them to sell more accessories. That's right, unlike most competing trackers on the market, you'll need an attachment to keep this little mento on your keys. Thankfully, handing Apple another 30 bucks on your way out of the store isn't the only option. If you have access to a 3D printer, there are already dozens of free printable keyring attachments on Thingiverse. Or if you're willing to spend five or $10, there are plenty of cheap third-party keyrings online. My personal favorite keyring hack is using a Spanish knot to wrap the AirTag and paracord, or even shoelace, which you can learn how to do in this video we'll link below. Finally, there's the most overkill method, drilling a hole right through your AirTag. We're going to show you how to perform that delicate surgery today, but first, a quick teardown to show you where to poke. Opening an AirTag is easy. Just use two thumbs to rotate the shiny metal belly counterclockwise about 90 degrees and you're inside. After that, remove the 3 volt coin cell battery. If you're following along to drill, stop here. You don't need to do any more disassembly than this, but I'm going to keep going just to show you what you're trying to avoid. The next layer is held down with plastic clips and glue. A vise deforms the plastic case so that we can get an opening pick in the seam, then some prying gets us to the good stuff. In the middle of this PCB donut is the speaker magnet, originally glued to that layer we just removed. The circuit board is glued in here on top of a plastic antenna frame. You can see the board and the antenna frame both have notches in them for the clips and glue to pass through, that's where we want to drill. The best way to find one of these spots from the outside is to use the battery cover clips as a guide. Our favorite spot is roughly at 7 o'clock with the tag oriented so the CE labeling under the battery is upright. You can see the hole for the battery cover clip starts at about 6 o'clock and ends at 7. Mark a spot at 7 o'clock here at the very edge of the gray battery cover below the clip. One final warning before we bring out the drill, attempt this at your own risk. Obviously, drilling in the wrong place can cause some serious damage, and we can't guarantee that this procedure won't cause some long-term damage to your AirTag down the line. Basically, don't try this at home unless you're willing to potentially turn your tracker into a very light paperweight. To get started, you'll need a 1 16th inch drill bit. For best results, use a special PCB bit or something with a carbide tip. You'll also need your power drill, some eye protection, and something to hold the AirTag with, like a vise. Secure the AirTag, then drill straight through your mark. After you're done drilling, for extra credit, we recommend using some Sugru or a sealant to reseal the two holes you've made. This won't fully restore your AirTag's IP67 rating, but it will make it less likely to drown in the crumbs at the bottom of your backpack. Congrats on your newly keyringed AirTag. If you know of another way to attach these things to your keys that we didn't mention, let us know in the comments below. Thankfully, I think this one still works. 